Hey everyone, Chris here for another Blu-ray review. This time it's for the classic noir from 1949, Trapped, released by Flickr Alley. Starring Lloyd Bridges and the lovely Barbara Payton. And if his last name sounds familiar, well, it should. He's Bo and Jeff Bridges' father with a resume of over 200 films to his credit. And this film happened to be Lloyd's first leading role because he's been in a bunch of pictures before this, but he wasn't the leading man until Trapped came along. And the Film Noir Foundation always had this on their radar to get this release, but they thought they waited out until the right 35mm print came into their hands. And boy, thankfully it did because we have a really solid looking transfer. Alright, so let me tell you a little bit about this story. It centers around a convict, Tris Stewart, played by Lloyd. And the uh, feds need his help in tracking down the culprits who are manufacturing counterfeit cash. But as uh, Tris gets loose, he makes a run for it with his partner in crime girlfriend Meg, played by Barbara Payne. And the story begins to unravel from there. And I don't know about you, but that synopsis is what noir is all about. And there's something really intriguing about noir films in general. And it's not just about the story. It's the look, it's the feel, the darkness, the betrayal, the shadowy atmosphere some of the films are set in. These are just a few of the reasons that makes noir appealing to me. And Trapped is a great example of it. So picture quality wise, given the fact that what it took for this film to get released, finding the best print and getting it restored, to me that's an automatic 5 out of a 5 stars. But if I have to pinpoint a few things, well this isn't a film shot yesterday. Of course you'll see specs on the print here and there, but nothing distracting. In fact this is a darn good looking print. However it's not the most sharpest picture around, but that's due to its source material. But black lows remain consistent and well balanced throughout. And considering the age of this film, I was quite pleased with the transfer. It also has a solid model mix track with the dialogue remaining clear all the way through. I didn't hear any pops or distortions. So with all that being said, I'm rating this one a 4 out of a 5 for the picture and a 4.5 for the sound. For bonus material, you get a mini documentary, which I highly recommend, called Freeing Trapped. And it's on the film's creation and history, featuring interviews with Eddie Muller, Donna Lethal, and others. Also a sedulous Cinderella, Richard Fleischer remembered, and it's a remembrance on the man, the director, and the father by his son Mark Fleischer. Also a audio commentary track featuring author Alan K. Road and film historian Julie Kurgo. You also get a 24 page souvenir booklet. And a bit of trivia for you, some scenes of this film was actually shot at the US Treasury Department which is pretty much unheard of today and it's quite interesting how they got the permission to do that and try to keep things as realistic as possible for this movie. And another interesting note, during a car chase scene, the car driven by Agent Downing Jack Sylvester passes the Alto Nido Apartments in Hollywood, the very same apartment building where Joe Gillis lived before he moved into Norma Desmond's mansion in the film Sunset Boulevard. So yeah, this film was all practically shot in and around LA except for the US Treasury scenes, which of course is located in Washington DC. And to me, the 1940s was the greatest decade for noir. Sure, there were other fantastic noirs being produced in the 50s like Sunset Boulevard as I mentioned, In a Lonely Place, Touch of Evil, but towards the late 50s things just weren't the same. Times were changing and studios had interest in other genres. But anyway, going back to my point, Trapped is one of those must-see noirs and this Blu-ray edition is the best way to experience it. And I like to think of film restoration like an old classic car getting restored and being brought back to life. And since 2005, Thanks to Eddie Muller, who's the founder and president of the Film Noir Foundation, it's been his mission to find and preserve films in danger of being lost or irreparably damaged, and to ensure that high quality prints of classic films like Trapped remain in circulation for theatrical screenings and for future generations to come. And also of course a big thanks to UCLA Film Intelligent Archive and Flickr Alley for getting this film released on Blu-ray and DVD for all of us to enjoy. And every now and then it's just nice to watch these old classics because no matter how much life changes, you can still go back in time on film, which is why it's so important to preserve and restore these films. Because once the print deteriorates, it's gone for good and we can't let that happen. So uh, thanks for checking out my review of Trapped. It's definitely one to add to your noir collection. And in the meantime, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.